huge shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you're interested in gaining a channel membership, then feel free to head over to my channel profile and click the join button. Also, we do have a Ninjago Discord server. It's a great way to communicate with myself and many others. For more details on that, click the very first link at the very top of the description of this video. So hello there everybody and welcome back on in to the channel here for an Overlord X video. Now today we are going to be discussing something that actually stems directly from a particular tweet I made a few days ago now. And let's just say that I have no idea how I never ever thought of this in the few months now that we have just kind of known about Dragons Rising, and especially in the past month since we've actually had the first 10 or so episodes of Dragons Rising, well, actually out there in our faces, able to watch. So I have no idea how this has never come up in conversation from what I've seen in the Ninjaga community before, and also I just have no idea how personally I've just simply never thought of this, but better late than never, am I right? Buckle up, because today's video is going to be a very, very interesting one, I think, and I knew I I was just going to have to share this with all of you in a video on my YouTube. Please, before we begin, shameless plug time, if you do end up enjoying my videos, please do feel free to subscribe to the channel. It does go a long way. But with that out of the way, let's discuss this huge scenario and question that I've never thought about before. Now, the answer to what it is I'm talking about, because I know I've been very vague so far, is up on screen now. Who is that, you ask? That is, obviously, everyone's favourite Ninjago princess, Princess Harumi. Now, she had a, uh, a, well, a big comeback within Crystallized, right? I don't even need to state the obvious for all of you, because if you are clicking on today's video, I am literally 100% sure you are very familiar with the events of Crystallized. So yeah, long story short, she was in Crystallized, started off as a villain, but then had some sort of redemption, you could say, towards the very end. Personal opinions aside on her actual redemption, that was really the last we saw of her, and actually the very last we saw of her, she was kind of being taken away by the police commissioner, is what it looked like anyway, and that is what many people have been speculating on. So it would appear as though, probably between the events of Crystallized and Dragon's Rising, she was locked into some form of cell, which I suppose does make sense, because even though she has had some sort of redemption, I mean, hey, life doesn't always go the way you want it to, and I'm sure she's going to have to serve some sort of jail time as a result of all of the absolutely crazy, ridiculous things and all of the harm she's caused in Ninjago. But of course, just because that happened between Crystallized and Dragon's Rising, well, it doesn't change the fact that Dragon's Rising started off with an absolute bang, as, of course, the merge happened. And the merge basically flipped everything upside down. It completely changed everything we know about Ninjago. All of the different realms merged together in ridiculous ways, all next to each other to create one large landscape slash world, if you will, which leaves Harumi's whereabouts completely unknown. Like, what is Harumi actually out there doing after the events of the merge? Where is she? I mean, there's still a possibility that maybe the actual prison, like for the sake of today's video, let's call it Cryptarian Prison, because that's where I'll assume she was kind of being held if she even went to prison in the first place. I mean, I suppose there is that chance that that whole establishment and that whole building just ended up in some other kind of realm place, maybe. Or maybe she is literally still just stuck, stuck inside jail, even in the merge. In the, the events of the whole merge, Harumi is still stuck there in jail. But that is kind of hard to believe, considering just how wild things really were with regards to the merge. So ultimately, well, we still don't really know as to what or where Harumi actually is. I mean, still, there is that chance that maybe she's just kind of out there roaming the realms on her own, which is kind of funny to think about. Maybe she's having, again, more of a reflection of time uh, to follow up with her redemption. Just thinking about all of those insanely horrible and sickening things she has done to the people of Ninjago and more. So again, there is definitely that chance, but that is obviously entirely just me speculating. But still, this is insanely weird to think about because Harumi, again, it seems as though she was almost forgotten about in terms of Dragons Rising. And while I do not think she'll really be showing up again in the future of this season, again, this is such a wacky concept to discuss with all of you. And I mean, you guys know me, I love to discuss wacky, weird concepts, and this is definitely one of them. I mean, seriously, just imagine Harumi casually roaming around the entire 
entire merged realms, just kind of doing her own thing, you know, meeting new people and just exploring what all of the realms have to offer entirely on her own. I mean, hey, that kind of sounds like punishment on its own, because what if she stumbles across some sort of really evil realm like the Underworld or something and gets into lots of tense situations? It kind of serve her right, right? I mean, that would only make sense, but again, wild speculation. I just wanted to make today's video to bring up this huge question of what is Harumi actually doing right now as a result of the merge? Definitely a very interesting question, but with all of this being said, that is basically just about going to conclude this video here, so I hope that you guys did all enjoy it. Please, though, feel free to leave any of your own thoughts on all of this down below in the comments. I would love to hear your own thoughts regarding this. As usual, though, if you did enjoy today's video, please do leave a like on it, subscribe to the Overlord X channel for more, and hit that notification bell so that you behind the screen there it's you there, I'm looking right at you, can keep up today on all things Ninjago right here on the channel, and with all of this being said, I will catch you all very soon for a new one. Well, goodbye everybody, see you all very soon.